The main consequence is the consequence we see every day, which is that we're still burdened with a system that doesn't work. It hasn't worked for a while. Uh, we're trying to fix and, and, and tweak a system that's designed to do very different things than what we need it to do. So the real detriment to this is that if we don't try to address these issues in a more systemic way, we end up replicating the system that currently exists. And maybe we see a, a brief improvement, but oftentimes uh, that goes away and we end up being right where we're at. So when we try to, to you know, put more computers in the classroom and that's going to solve the issue and then the computers aren't being used. Um, one of my favorite examples is we went in and studied some technology in, in, a, uh, in an alternative school and the district was playing was paying, sorry, um, a great deal of money for instructional software to try to remediate uh, learners who had fallen behind. Um, so they invested all this money in it, and then they had not trained the faculty, so the faculty, the teachers didn't understand how to use it. And then uh, they also had not invested any money in headphones, and the instruction was multimedia and had audio, so all the computers were muted so they wouldn't disturb the students around them. So the students trying to use the software couldn't hear the instruction, um, which made it largely worthless. So this is an example of, of what's the problem? We need instruction to remediate those who have fallen behind. That's our solution. Simple problem, simple solution. Well, it's not a simple problem. And when you try to slap that, that Band-Aid and keep so focused on such a narrow solution, you ignore the other issues that come into play, which can completely make that solution, you know, ridiculous, you know, that, it, that it's possible that it would, that it would work. The, the teachers don't know how to use it, so uh, the students can't hear the instructions. They're trying to get through it. They're asking for help, and no one knows how to help. So it's an example of this is all we need to do when in reality there's a lot more to it, but because we haven't taken the time to really understand the different issues that come to play here, um, we're sabotaging our solution, even if it had the potential for success.